36 millimeter. <clears throat> Let's find out if we can break it. So we got that loose. I'm just going to leave that on there so it don't, uh, <clears throat> so when I go to pull my hub off, it don't go flying because I don't know if I'm going to have to beat it with a hammer or what. So we'll see. All right, let's try these now. These should be a 19 and an 18. All right, there's that. And I always do the top one first. And the reason being is if you do the bottom one first and then you go to loosen the top, then the bottom will pop out. So, uh, so I do the top one first. That way when I go to loosen the bottom, it's pushing against. And I don't have to worry about anything, so... get a uh, tie rod or a uh, I need to get something to tie these up real quick I just want to zip tie so when I pull this bracket right here um, and I pull my brakes and stuff off I've got somewhere to dangle it which I'm gonna dangle it from my sway bar sway bar maybe we'll see <clears throat> Right, there's them. Let's we'll see if we can get this off. Yeah, just like that. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to run this through here, like so, and over my sway bar, like that. Out of the way, right here. Ta-da. All right, now we need a, uh, for this, we gotta get our brakes out of here. And then we're gonna need, I think, what is this? This is my 19, so I think we're gonna need the 18 for the actual caliper bracket. True statement. Let's get our brakes off here. I wear gloves so I don't get all my grease and stuff, hand grease, all that crap on the, the rotor. It's just way easier. And then when I put the rotor back on, I, I'm still gonna clean it with some brake clean probably. Uh, but, you know, this gives me a chance to check these brakes too because guys, I'm gonna tell you, it's been two plus years, uh, two plus years since I, did, since I changed these brakes. And I'm gonna show you these brakes pulling the trailer all the time you're going to flip out. Maybe, I don't know. He might. He might not. <clears throat> i got to get him out of here first. Front I'm going to go ahead and take the bracket off. Anyway. one here see these are for these are flanged or whatever uh, indented in these are for your your bolt that holds the rotor to your hub 
Uh, but these, if your rotor is stuck on, you can take an M10 uh, bolt and put through here and tighten it up and it'll push this rotor away to where you can get that, uh, get that off real easy. Pull this nut off. And then there's a washer here. I've got fat fingers. And then there's a washer, your 36 millimeter nut. And then I'm going to take, and do you see how I did that? I'm pushing my axle out back through there so it's away from my hub. <clears throat> so it makes it easy. Now my hub is still still in, but I know it's not frozen to it. It's going to be easy to, you know, get off of there now. Uh, now I've got three bolts in the back of this. So let's show you that real quick. <clears throat> show you these three bolts. There's two on this side. Uh, let me get my flashlight. So there's two bolts on this side. There's one, right? Where the heck are you? Uh, okay, yeah. One right here where my finger's at. There's that one. And then there's one above it right here, right here. And then there's one on this side as well. See if we can get you around here. See that? Uh, where y'all at? Right. So there's, this is the second one right there. Your third one is right, oh, uh, right here. Here's your third one. Oh, let me move my, ah, oh, you can't see. Uh, third one is right here. Let me put the flashlight on it right there. Here's your third one. So there's three of these. You got to pull and then your hub should come off. Uh, but before we pull the hub, we've got to undo this ABS wire right here, which hooks right here. So you can pull this out like that. And then you can unplug it if you can. I love these things because you always got to figure out how they work. All right. So now that's unplugged. And then you've got this one right here, which is just going to be a screwdriver to get out. <clears throat> this one, uh, the whole thing comes out. This is probably the, the worst one to get off, per se. But, you know, could be, could not be, Ugh. stupid thing, Come on. pop out of there, baby, stand by, all right, there's that one, this is the worst one right here. Probably. So we got two. This one right here, yeah. Definitely the worst, in my personal opinion. But, it, you know, I guess I just made it look real easy. Whatever. <clears throat> All right, so we'll let that dangle. Let's, uh, 15 millimeter it is. All right, here we go. My goodness, man. They don't make nothing easy on these things. Yeah. Now I'll probably be able to get them. There them are. Now, as you can tell, this is still on there pretty good. <laughs> wow, look real good. So we're gonna have to take a hammer here and beat it some. 
um, the problem with beating it is this is all-wheel drive. So I'm not, not going to be able to really do anything because I can't get my, my axle out of there to where I can move the whole thing. So uh, now the fun part, apparently it is on there, on there. So normally you could, uh, you could possibly take an air chisel or something and uh, do it, but man, I tell you what, these things are not fun by any means because I can only hit one thing of it and uh, it is moving, but you can't get in here to hit anything. There you go. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to get a wire brush and I'm going to uh, get some of this right here clean and then I'm going to grease the inside of this. I'm going to grease this axle, put some grease on it. I'm going to throw some grease on this tie rod, uh, get some of this cleaned up and then we'll throw the new one on. All right, new wire, Shizumi. So now I know this is going to go just like this with this up. Which means this is going to go in here like that. And then this is going to go on there just like that. And now. Try to get this bad boy on there. It's one to play games. There we go. Axle's in. Now we gotta move that in. Shazam! All right. Ta da! ahead and put this one in. I'll put this up out of the way here. Oh, it came with a new plug for that too. Sweet. I can pull that one out. Awesome. I like it. All right. I'll leave that out of the way. All right. Let's get our bolts. Get our anti-seasy All right. Them are torqued. Let's get this uh, rotor on and get it put back together. Here. Put the brakes back on. There we 
go. Let's put the cap back on.